All right. Hello, everyone. I recently released Agility IMAP version 1.2, and today I just want to go over a few of the new features uh, that are available in 1.2. The tunnel is hugely improved. It starts out in a straight position. It's a much requested feature, and it's a uh, there's one control point, and you can move it around, and you can move this around, and you can get pretty much you know any shape that just needs one bend. Now I've added a second tunnel, the one with two control points. So this you can have like S's, uh, any shape that you really can think of that the other one can't do. So this is a huge, the tunnels are uh, refined and very easy to work with. One of the new things also is you can now drag stuff around without the delay. You just touch it and start dragging. Uh, before you had to like touch, wait, and then drag. And now you can just do this. The only trade-off, there's always a trade-off because we have multiple, you know, this dragging also drags the course map around and dragging drags this around. So the only thing is when you do your pinch zoom in and out, you have to make sure that you're, Two fingers touch a blank part of the course. Otherwise, if you go like, if you touch it, it's going to be like, the, if the first finger touches an obstacle instead of a blank part of the map, when you're trying to do a pinch zoom, it's going to select that and you're not going to, it's going to move it around. So, but I think this is a much better way of working. We have, uh, let me go back to a, let me load up a, a full course here. Now we always had, as you know, in addition to pinch zoom to go in and out, you could double tap, we go to two times zoom. And a new feature and double tap takes you back to the original 100%. Now there's a triple tap, which takes you to four times zoom. So you can really get in there and, you know, if you want to just move, really fine tune the placement of an obstacle. And three times, if you're in triple tap again, it goes you back, takes you back to 100%. You can now specify uh, metric. When you create a new course, there's an option right here, metric on and off, and it puts on metrics at five meter increments. So that's a nice option for people who are the Europeans and other people outside the United States. All right. Another option here now is you can double tap some obstacles and you can change their length. So uh, length and different options of it. So like the shoot you can make into a sh six foot shoot or a ten foot shoot if you're an AKC. And all these options you can also in the settings I'll show the in the, in the bit. Same with like the weave poles. You want twelve through six poles. You can change it. Uh, jumps, you can have either four foot bars and you can change the color of the striping. So now there's the blue jump there that's four feet. Uh, and you can have a green jump. So that might be helpful. Uh, anyways, if you don't like red or if you just want to build for teaching purposes, hey, the red jump, the green jump, in order to refer to jumps easier instead of saying that jump over there. You could toggle, go to the trash icon, you can toggle off the grid, the lines if you prefer that style of creating a course. And toggles it back on. The obstacle, uh, let me load up our number here. The obstacle, obstacle, the, the label, the number obstacle now stays locked. So when you, you tap it once and it's on, and now you can start just quickly put numbers everywhere. The only thing is you have to remember is to turn it off when you're done. Uh, otherwise it'll keep putting numbers down and you won't be able to do much else. And there's a bunch of uh, bug fixes and improve and just general improvements. Um, but that's the main 
gist of what's new in 1.2. So I hope you like it, and I have a lot of things already in the works for 1.3, including a complete undo and redo of when you're making changes to your course map and drawing lines. All right, thanks for uh, checking out Agility IMAP.